Hey everyone, welcome back to another cut up with Chris. It is Tuesday evening, well, it's Tuesday night really, it's 9 o'clock I think, roughly 9.30. I didn't even check the time, but I know it's after 9 o'clock. Now, I'm using a soap tonight, never used this Artisans product before. Really looking forward to it. I did test lather it today and it was phenomenal. So hopefully I don't react to it and I can get a great, great shave from it. Now, this is from the Artisan Soap Shop. And the scent is agave, which and the scent profile on here is dark cucumber and cedar wood. Now, it smells really, really nice. I get cucumber. I'm falling over here trying to think about it. I get cucumber. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's the cedar wood that I'm smelling. It's quite sweet. It reminds me very much of Uncle John's cucumber and melon. It smells absolutely beautiful, it really does. Now this cut is a vegan soap, as you can see here. And it comes in six ounces, it's very small. Hopefully that focuses. And I think that's about all that's on here. Handcrafted in Springfield, Missouri. It tells you how to use the soap, which if I can't use soap by now, there's some wrong. Ingredients, how simple is that set of ingredients? Does it get much simpler than that? Saponify, coconut oil, stearic acid, glycerin, sodium, lactate and fragrance. Boom, done. Just to put that into comparison, what you saw yesterday from grooming department. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Grooming department soap was the best vegan soap I've ever used. But it gives you a bit of an idea of what you can do with some very minimal products. Now, if you want to find out or check out any of the soaps here, hopefully this focuses enough. Theartisansoapshop.com and I'm pretty sure my mind's got Jenny Peck in my head and I'm pretty sure that's right. I should have checked this up beforehand, but I'm pretty sure Jenny Peck's the owner, operator, artisan, the main woman behind the soap. So let's just see how we go. Brush for today, I'm still breaking this bad boy in. It's the That Tarn Rob with the 24mm AP Shave Co Premium Mixed Knot. I think it's, I'm pretty sure this one's like 25, sorry, 50% boar, 50% badger. Very similar to the Simone Caravella. It's got a higher loft and it feels much better than the Caravella, in my opinion, or my one at least. So here we go, straight into the soap, we'll get a load going on. Now this is the same brush that I used for the test ladder. Which was only sort of four hours ago. So I'm expecting the soap still to be ever so slightly soft. I don't expect it to have dried out completely from when I loaded up previously. Now it's quite a, it's a reasonably firm soap. I was quite surprised. I mean, I was digging right into this early and it didn't really budge in terms of the top layer of the soap that was there beforehand. So certainly a soap that, that lasts quite a long time as well. So there we go. Completely chock a block loaded. Right here, come out of it. I'm losing quite a fair bit of hair out of this brush. This is only the fourth or fifth time I've used it. I'm sort of losing on average two or three hairs per use, maybe a bit more. Not super worried about it yet, but I will do if it starts going another five or six shaves and I'm losing every time. It might just be a shedder, I don't know. Now, I thought it might have just been. The bow here being thicker, I thought that was what was happening, but I'm losing badger here as well, so but I think it's badger here. Right, let's paint this on. Now, I'm a little bit worried about this one, I love the scent, but this scent reminds me so much of Uncle John's cucumber melon, which I reacted to. <laughs> so, here we go. Tips. Now this was quite a strange soap to test lather. It was very foamy. I thought, oh, here we go. Shit, soap this stuff. I ain't get nothing from this. I thought, well, let's just dip the tips and see what happens. And holy shit, you dip those tips and it just seems to disintegrate the bubbles 
and the airiness of the lather and it went really creamy so I was really surprised that the opposite sort of thing happening with this soap I mean if in doubt add water really if it's too dry add water, if it's too airy try adding water because it's not going to get any better just sitting there full of air on this brush is absolutely phenomenal. I know I see it every time I use it. I'd have to say it's the best scrub brush I've ever used. As you can see it needs a lot of water, it needs a lot of water to get to the consistency that you want or the best consistency for me at least not that you want, you use the consistency that works best for you Now having used grooming department yesterday it's going to take a hell of a vegan soap to top that Now I can tell you right now from this lather that it's not going to top it It's not going to be better than the grooming department because it's not, it doesn't have that creamy yogurt -y feel to it. This feels more like a vegan soap to me where it's nice and light and airy but it's still thick and luxurious. It's difficult to describe until you actually stick it on your own face and do it yourself. I mean that lather there is exceptional. You know, you can't argue with that. Right, here we go with the green above the Thai Calypso. Ah, one, and I've got I can't remember the blade I've got on here, it's the same blade from last time Kai blade. So, this will be the second use on the Kai. Really light touch. Now, I had one of the guys asking today, sent me an email. Don't know how to pronounce your name, mate. I'm not sure whether it's Canis or Caniche or Canice. I'm not 100% sure. So apologies if I butchered that name. It's quite a quite a unique name, and I'm assuming it probably doesn't even sound anything like that at all. Being Irish, I'm sure it's probably got a completely different pronunciation. I mean, how you can get Siobhan of S-I-O-B-A-H-N I have no idea I probably spelled that wrong but it was asking about the the R1 and the Timeless Open Co And which one I actually recommend or which one I would recommend based on my usage and it's quite simple for me this the aluminium above the tie R1 for me it performs its more extensive sister than the stainless version it's smoother Hi, Dad. Are you taking the train tomorrow? Yeah. The same one? No, I'm getting a later one. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah. So, yeah, this one shaves better for me. And 
than the above the tie R1 stainless and the timeless 0.95 open comb I had the scalloped head with the open comb and this shea is better than both of them it's been a while since I've used the timeless quite a long time actually and I remember it being a very smooth comfortable shave but it wasn't a razor I could use every day this one I can use every day this is a daily shave here I only I shaved yesterday 24 hours ago I don't know how this is going to go I'm a bit worried here I've got a funny feeling I'm going to react to this so And again, maybe not, I'm not feeling anything so far. The reason I thought I was going to react to it is I thought I could feel something that first pass, but obviously couldn't. Sorry if I'm off the camera. Two seconds. So, artisan soap shop. Agave. How is it? It's really nice stuff. Lathers easily. Smells lovely. Comes in big tubs. Now, I'm not sure what the cost is on a soap shop. But I would imagine it's going to be competitive because there's so many artisans over in the States at the moment that it's difficult to not be competitive. There's very few people that get away with charging what they want. You know, I think there's obviously companies like Talbot Shaving and things like that that seem to charge a little bit more because they don't make quite so much. Uh, this, this company, as far as I'm aware, are pretty readily available. You can get this stuff off the website quite easily. Just going to get the tips, see what happens. Now, I am feeling something on my skin, but it doesn't feel like a reaction. It feels, it feels almost like the scrub of this brush is too much for me. I am definitely feeling something. If it was a reaction, I would think I'd be sort of burning all over. I'm feeling something very mild. It's nothing that's worrying me at all. I 
I enjoyed this blade last time out. You think I'm enjoying it this time? Not really. Now, I praised the, the Kai blades very highly when I first used them. One of the big selling points for me with the Kai blade. It's the longevity. How long they actually last. This one isn't doing so great. And it could be part of the reason why my skin feels a little bit irritated. Because it's not quite as smooth as I would like. Feels alright. That's about it. First time around it was fine, but I find this above the tie razor tends to work better with thinner blades. Now if you've used the, the Kai blades yourself, you'll know that they're thick. They're a very thick blade. So, yeah, I'm going to take that out now. Now one thing I have noticed with the Calypso is it really likes to hold on to that blade, don't want to let go. Right, I'm just going to rinse this off. I've got a few weepers, a little bit of rotation. I'm just going to let the skin dry off a bit. I want to see what it feels like. Sort of post shave, just for the, the sort of after the soap, I suppose. See if my skin's feeling a little bit dry and a little bit tight or anything. The shave itself is great. Still very, very cool. Still got no nicks or cuts or anything. A couple of little weepers here, so the blade couldn't have been quite that bad, but it didn't feel as comfortable. The soap performed very well. Well, I don't think I lost the hair that time. So it's a bonus. Brucey Bowness. Right. One thing I love about this above the tie, it gets me so close around my lips and stuff. Even if I just go with the green, it gets me really close. So I feel like I've almost got against the green list, like there's nothing there. I tell you what, holy shit. For such a, a minimalistic take on soap by using such a small amount of product in it, in terms of actual base products for the base, my skin feels super moisturised. Yeah, really impressed. <laughs> That's two vegan soaps that I've really really impressed me. I've heard good things about Artisan Soap Shop, so I was expecting it to be good. I probably wasn't expecting it to be that good with such a small amount of ingredients. Really nice. If it is Jenny Peck, you've done a, an excellent job with that base. I'm really chuffed with it. The scent's beautiful. I've also got crisp vetiver, which I lathered up as well. I can't remember what the smell reminded me of. It reminded me a bit like a fresh sort of linen scent, but it was really nice. It's the exact same lather. The lather was pretty much spot on the same. But yeah, the scent's lovely. The scent lingers, hangs around a little bit when you're shaving with it as well. Scent strength at the tub's running about a five. On your face, it's running about a five as well. So it's pretty much on that, that middle park sort of figure where it's... Oh yeah, I'm really, I really like this post shave. So it's, my face is dried in now. There's no real moisture on my skin now. 
the moisturisation that was there before that was a little bit tacky has actually now started going sort of that satin smooth sort of feel when you run your hands over and it feels like silk. That's what my skin feels like, it feels very moisturised, it doesn't feel dry at all. So quite impressed with that. I'm still going to finish with a balm, that's my sort of jam, that's what I do. Finish with a balm because it's my jam. Fucking full of shit tonight, I tell you what. Elvado Royal Tahitian Lime. Right, now I just want to also mention Shaving Channel. Now I watched half a video last night because it's all I had time for. I'm hoping to go to finish it tonight and then I'll pop a comment on there. Now the Shaving Channel is craving shaving. Craving shaving as in I'm craving something to eat, I'm craving chocolate, craving shaving and didn't know what to expect, no idea, never seen the channel before. I was quite surprised when I jumped on there how many videos that he's actually done so far. He's pumped a lot of content out quickly, he's up to 70 or 80 subscribers, so good on you mate, I'm really, I was quite chuffed when I went on there. And from watching what I've watched so far in that video, I think you'll do well mate. Uh, that's, I've watched that many wet tubers now that it's got a... a You've got to have a bit of a unique flavour that I watch now. It's got to be something that I'm actually drawn into watching. You've got that, mate. And as as with sort of like Flash Bodum and Cincy and Spence, Ken Shaving and BSing, Ken Surfs, they've all got a, a unique way of doing things. They've generally got a no bullshit approach, which I really like. I'm not into a bullshit approach. I'm not into gimmicks and all that sort of crap. You get what you see with me, and that's what I like to see from other blogs, especially when the reviewing products or using stuff that you, you put on plate maybe buying you want to know you're buying it on a honest review so check them out if i remember i'll pop the channel down below my memory's shit but i will try and pop it down below but it's craving shaving excellent channel and just starting out i think i think it's five weeks in now six weeks in something like that ran out of storage on my phone, which is a miracle because I don't use as much now on 1080p but what I was doing was deleting everything, chucking it in my deleted folder and then forgot to delete them all, I had like 113 things in my deleted folder so I've just wiped them all to back on and what I was just about to say, what I did say and never noticed the camera stopped recording was that it's one of my favourite parts of shaving when you get the balm in your hands, you rub it on your face and then you take a big smell and it smells phenomenal and this stuff here if you want a lime sort of citrus scent, there's not many better on the market scent wise in my opinion. It is off the charts good. Elvado Royal Tahitian Lime. Now that's the old bottle. The newer bottle is a slightly different shape, very similar, but it's the exact same as the shaving cream, the new tubes. So it's excellent stuff, smells great, and I tell you what, post shave is spot on. Right, soap. I know we've seen it before. Artisan shave sh the artisan soap shop classic. Now I'm assuming classic is probably most likely the base. And the scent is agave. And you can probably see down the bottom here it's cucumber and cedar cedar wood, dark cucumber cedar wood. Oh, it's phenomenal, it really is. Very similar to Uncle John's cucumber melon without the reaction, thankfully. I did have a little bit of something, but I think it's the blade from this razor, so. The brush today, you've seen it a few times now. That darn Rob. Absolutely stunning brush, it really is. And I've got 24mm AP Shave Co Premium Mix Knot in here, Boring Badger Mix. And it's a beautiful, beautiful knot, it really is. It's a strange one. Because when it's dry and even when it's wet, it feels like it's going to be scritchy on your face or scritchy on whatever you do it on your hand or whatever. But as soon as you put a little bit of pressure on, it's like the tips just slightly bend and it just becomes super scrubby and soft. So it's not a scritch or scratch, but it's just very comfortable on your face, but got a shit ton of scrub. And it is slowly starting to break in now. I'm starting to see some of the, the bow tips starting to sort of, they almost go like a little ball in the end. And then what happens is they start splitting and the little ball starts to split open. So it's starting to do that now, so I'm quite surprised that it's doing that so quick. So the four or five shaves in.
but didn't lose any hairs during that shave, so that's a that's a bonus. Right now the razor. The razor is a three-piece razor, so it comes like that. So that's your top cap there, base plate, and then you've got your handle. I'm not sure what style the handle is now. It's an all aluminium construction. It's very light. well. It's not very light, but it's light. Obviously, if you're used to stainless steel razors, this is going to be very very light. But it's got a great grip. It's beautifully engineered. I love the blue base cap. Holds the blade rigid. There's no flex or anything. The blade, nothing at all. No chat or anything like that. It's just a beautifully designed, beautifully created razor, and it's as smooth as you like. The Kai blade wasn't great today. It really wasn't. It was a little bit rough, if I'm honest. But this managed to get it through without causing me any real issues. And let's see, that's a pretty damn good shave for me. I'm normally really red down here. But I mean, considering how efficient this razor is, I'm normally in well, the pain down in my neck, but nothing, nothing at all. It just feels great. My skin feels great, moisturised. Fuck, I'm talking tonight. I tell you what, fucking rambling on a lot of shit here. But yeah, if I don't even know if I cut that part out or not. If it did, make sure to check out Craving Shaving. If it hasn't, I'm just repeating his channel again. Really nice guy, and he's like myself starting out when I did over a year ago now and I've no doubt in my mind that his channel will grow quite well like most of the guys out there now they're offering good content and they're being honest about it that's what it's all about give me honesty and, and, and I'll watch and, and that's, a, that's a great thing so other than that guys you guys stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another shave I don't know what soap I'm going to use yet I'm thinking Barrister Fugio Gothic I've got the splash to go with it now so I, pick, I keep picking that one up smelling it's probably one of my favourite smelling soaps some people think it smells like mould and dog shit or something I don't know oh, I fucking love it my wife hates it but well, what can you do can't please everyone especially the wife catch you guys next time cheers